Hey there, YouTube. Corn Cobb Piper coming at you. It is uh, Saturday afternoon. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I just wanted to do an update on my 100 sub giveaway. And then also I figured as part of this update, I'd go ahead and uh, show you guys my tobacco seller as well. Uh, being as that's what I'm asking to see from you, I figured I'd go ahead and show you mine as well. So as you all know, there's two categories for uh, the giveaway. Uh, category 1, which is uh, English and Balkan, and Category 2, which is Virginia and Aromatic. There will be a winner uh, from each category. Uh, so I just want to run through the list of everybody's uh, VRs that I've seen. And there was a, there was one person that uh, doesn't make videos but sent me a private message with, um, with their seller, uh, letting me know what they had in their seller. So if you are not on this list, uh, please comment below letting me know, hey, you know, I, I made a VR. Uh, for uh, for your giveaway and then anybody that's already made a VR in 2017 as well uh, previous to my giveaway uh, you could just let me know that you already have a cellaring video up I'll go check it out and I'll uh, add you to my giveaway with that uh, also uh, I had asked everybody to pick a category uh, that they wanted to be in uh, for the giveaway uh, reason being is um, you know, that's a part of the giveaway is you're going to get a tobacco uh, based on your, your category. So if you say you pick Balkan, for instance, you're going to get a tin of my current favorite Balkan that I have cellared, uh, vice versa with the Virginia, English, and uh, Aromatic. Uh, also, uh, someone did bring up the fact that I didn't have a Burley as a category on here. Uh, the reason being is I'm not a huge Burley smoking guy. So I didn't add it as in a category because I don't have a tin of Burley uh, to send somebody if you know they picked Burley and won. So uh, once again, it's category one, English Balkan, category two, uh, Virginia or Aromatic. So this is the list I have. So for category one, which is the English and Balkan category, uh, I have Bryce Parker who chose. Oh, and also, real quick before I go through this list, if you didn't mention which uh, category you wanted to be in, uh, I went ahead and picked for you based on uh, you know what I was seeing in your cellar. Uh, however, if you'd like that change, just let me know and I'll go ahead and make sure to do that as well. So, English Balkan category once again, Bryce Parker who chose Balkan, uh, Briar Hokey English, the Pottsville Piper English, Derek Tan uh, picked English but uh, does not want to be entered into uh, the contest, uh, but he did do the VR. Uh, the Metalhead uh, Y Cigar Guy, English. The Bean Piper, Balkan. The Magician Piper, English. Adam the Piper, English. Pipe Tree, English. And General Patton, English. Now let's move on to Category 2. Which is the uh, Virginia Aromatic. I had seven entries there, so Will Frights, Virginia, Unicorn Piper, Virginia, Mexican Piper, Virginia, Lunchies 83, chose Virginia but did not want to uh, choose to be entered in the giveaway, Hoosier Piper, Aromatic, Ted Lawton, Virginia, and Wharf Valley Boy, Virginia. By the way, I am smoking a Missouri Meerschaum. Uh, Morgan Nose Warmer. And I have some shortcut to mushrooms uh, packed in here. I'm down to my last couple of bowls of that. It was gifted to me by uh, Nika Piper. So Nika Piper, Piper, if you're watching, thanks again, brother. Uh, so without further ado, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, try out my new uh, selfie stick for my camera, which I just bought. And I will take it into the house and show you where I keep my pipe and my tobacco so give me just one second all right YouTube so let's head inside but real quick first uh, two weeks left on the giveaway uh, the drawing is going to be a Sunday the 22nd so you have through the 21st of April uh, to get those VRs in I just want to thank everybody who's gone ahead and done that for me so far I've really been enjoying all of your videos and I am looking forward to uh, seeing some more so I got you in a selfie stick, which I've never used before. So let's get you turned around, and I'll go ahead and bring you in the house. All 
All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's bring it in here. All right, so through the living room, my wife's giving me dirty looks right now. Into the bedroom. This is where I keep all of my pipe stuff. So up top here, uh, all my cobs, and I'll do a pipe video at some point. Um, too many to go through right now. I just want to show you all my tobaccos. Uh, second shelf here, uh, those are all of my briar and pearwood pipes that I have smoked. And in the pouches here are all of the briars that I have not smoked. And before you freak out on me, just you know, be aware that I, I prefer to smoke from cobs. So 90% of the time when I'm smoking, I reach for one of these guys up here. Uh, these will get uh, you know smoked at some point, and I know pipes are meant to be smoked, not looked at. Uh, that is why they're in the pouches. Uh, I'm not looking at them. I'm just storing them until they're ready to smoke. Once again, there's all the ones that I have smoked. Uh, the back corners there, those are my um, Middle Earth pipes from Flogger Works. Uh, check those guys out. They got some awesome pipes there. Uh, next shelf down is uh, my humidor. I actually won this in a giveaway um, from trying to remember bestcigarprices.com got another little humidor there where I keep my aromatic cigars uh, not so many of them there and that right there is uh, my brand new humidor which is seasoning right now it won't be ready till next Friday uh, but I do have quite a few cigars and we just went on a trip up to Tampa last weekend and I purchased some more so that's where I'm keeping my cigars uh, right now and that humidor uh, I got some zigzag cigarellos there that I smoke from time to time as well. And this is, I guess you would call my tobacco. Sorry about that, guys. I, I hit the uh, hit the pause button there. So this is my tobacco hutch. I got the, those are the two tins up there of the 2016 McClellan's Christmas cheer that are going away in my giveaway. Uh, some fancy, nice stuff up there that my wife put. And then... This, let me back up here, is the hutch that I keep all my tobaccos in. So, uh, sorry to wobble you guys around here. My camera skills are not that great. Let me zoom out and we'll go ahead and get this open. So, up top here are all my uh, jars. So, those are open tins as well as, uh, you know, some bulk blends. Got a couple pouches over there. Um, second one down. This is where I keep my uh, empty pipe sleeve, pipe socks. Got some lighters there, some pipe bits, pipe cleaners. In the back there, you can see the eight ounce bag of Penzance. That's uh, going to be part of the giveaway. You're going to get an ounce of that. And I do have uh, some stickers that I put on here from OMS and Dagner Pipes. And then I have my patches over there. I'm still waiting for Morgan Pipes to. Uh, bring their patches back so I can order one from them as well. All right, so the next uh, uh, next level down, I guess, are my aromatics. There's a couple non-aromatics up there, but those are mostly tins. Got some more jars there, uh, just because they wouldn't really fit up top. And then over there on the side are pipe filters, empty lighter boxes, and some pipe cleaners. I'll give you a better view of this shelf here, a little closer. A little closer view of the jars up top and then on the very bottom shelf this is the uh, the bulk of my tobacco cellar those are all tins and uh, you know plastic containers and go ahead and give me a minute and I'll, I'll take this stuff out in stages uh, we'll do the jars first then we'll go to the aromatics and then obviously last we'll pull out the uh, massive amount of tobacco I got in the bottom shelf and we'll go through those non aromatics so give me just a couple minutes and we'll get to that okay YouTube we are back and I've gotten all the jars taken out of my cabinet I'll go through them really quickly because there is a lot uh, keep in mind that these that some of these are uh, samples that, that people from the YTPC have sent me these are not all open uh, tins of tobacco nor uh, you know a lot of them are, are bulk blend aromatics that I've got too uh, and some non aromatics So we'll start here. Uh, shortcut to mushrooms. This is uh, Boswell Spice and Nice. Peter Stokeby's Luxury Twist Flake. Some Bob's Flake. 
This is uh, Boswell's Piper's Pleasure. Over here we have Boswell's uh, Bear Blend. Some Russ's Monthly Kaleidoscope, which is a very nice aromatic. I definitely recommend if you like aromatics, try that one out. Uh, Cornell and Deer Seersucker. Um, some more Peter Stalker, Stalkeby's Luxury Twist Flake. Uh, some Russ's Monthly Pirate's Cove. Uh, match VIP, which I'm not a huge fan of. It was one of the first uh, bulk blood aromatics I ever bought. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I'll get it smoked at some point. Maybe my taste will change. Uh, next is some Sutliff Christmas Spice. Uh, Cornell and Deal Gentleman's Caller. Cornell and Deal Comfort. Suge uh, Winner's Embrace. And then we'll go to the... Uh, the um, half pint jars. Uh, this is uh, Sutliff's uh, Dolce de Leche, Cornell and Deal's Autumn Evening, Samuel Gawis Fire Dance Flake. This is uh, Gawith and Hogarth's Grass Mirror Flake. Some Gawith and Hogarth's uh, Ennerdale Ener Flake. Peter Stockaby's Luxury Bullseye. Some uh, Boswell's Best, so a very nice aromatic also. Samuel Gwith, Full Virginia Flake, my favorite straight Virginia. If you guys haven't tried this stuff, definitely check it out. Uh, Russ's Monthly uh, Fireworks, very nice English. Cornell and Deal's uh, Crooner from 2008, given to me by Nika Piper. Uh, Dunhill Three Year Matured Virginia. GL Pieces, Quiet Nights. This is an excellent, excellent tobacco, guys. I definitely recommend you give this one a try. At some point, one of my favorites, uh, Orlick Racing Green, Russ's Monthly Fiddlesticks. Uh, these bigger jars in the back, this is basically right now my, my daily rotation uh, that I'm using. So some Lane uh, BS005, uh, Boswell's Northwoods. Uh, Braswell's Christmas Cookie, some Lane MV1000, Lane BCA, uh, Tewksbury's Hobbit Swede, which I am almost out of, and uh, hoping that the match from Four Noggins is good because this is one of my favorite tobaccos. Uh, this, this is Bits and Pieces. I've renamed the Corn Cob Piper Mix. This is a crossover English aromatic uh, that I made myself that is quite delicious. Uh, Dunhill Early Morning Pipe, and then Dunhill My Mixture 965. So that is my um, my jars, my mason jars. Um, and we'll go ahead and put these back, and I'll get my aromatics out, and we'll show you those. So we are back now with the aromatics that I pulled out. Uh, keep in mind that I do have also... Uh, eight ounces of Strauss Tobacconist Sleepy Hollow, which was a birthday gift from my wife. My birthday's next uh, Wednesday. Uh, she had picked me some up from them, and it is somewhere in the house wrapped. Maybe we could have a scavenger hunt here on YouTube if we could, if we could maybe find it as I get some dirty looks from my wife here. So anyway, this is the star of the show here, guys. This is the, the Penzance, which is going to be uh, the main prize for my giveaway, each one of those winners is going to get an ounce of this stuff. Uh, I pulled it out now because when I was moving stuff around, I did puncture the bag and there's now a little small hole in it. Uh, so I am going to, after I'm done shooting my cellar video, going to go ahead and get this stuff jarred up. Uh, you know, I'm going to do two ounces um, that, will, that will go to the winner. So an ounce a piece uh, with the remaining six ounces. Uh, I am going to keep two ounces now uh, to smoke, and then the other two ounces are going to go into uh, my cellar. So let's uh, move this out of the way, and we'll get to these aromatics. Uh, so right here are just a couple pouches. I have uh, Captain Black Cherry. I uh, never tried that one yet. Actually, a lot of these aromatics I've never tried. I uh, just bought them based on what uh, my tastes are. Thought that I you know, might enjoy them in the future. Always nice to have some aromatics on hand. This is uh, Carter Hall. Uh, this is, here we'll go to the back. Uh, King Cake uh, by Cornell and Deal. 
This is um, Holiday Spirit by 2017 by McClellan. Uh, won that in Hoosier Piper's 100 sub giveaway. Uh, some Cornell and Deal Gentleman Caller. If you guys like Deer Tongue, this is uh, my favorite of those. Uh, definitely, if you haven't tried that, I would recommend giving Deer Tongue a try. It's an herb and it makes the tobacco taste quite delicious, in my opinion. Uh, no way really to describe the taste or the smell of that stuff. This is Sutliff's uh, Blue Danube. Some more Sutliff's uh, Molto Dolce. I've heard only great things about that, uh, that tobacco. Here in the back is um, Cornell and Deal's uh, Curse of the Monster blends. Uh, these are all the same. This is Apple Caramel Aromatic. Uh, I just got three of them because I like the, the tin art. Uh, there's still the one with the vampire that I would like to get at some point to make the collection complete. Uh, so more Cornell and Deal's Country Cork. This one here, I don't really know about. This is a, a blend made by Pipes and Cigars. It's called Out of Office Civic Duty, and that is a, a cherry blend. I got it super cheap, uh, so I figured uh, I'll pick it up and uh, I'm gonna give it a try. I think they're clearancing that stuff out. So if you want, you try some Pipes and Cigars Aromatics, you can get them really cheap right now. Uh, this here is uh, Bella Vanilla, Pure Madagascar Vanilla. Um, Flavors Loco, and this is made made in Denmark. I'm not really sure who the uh, CAO. It's a CAO blend. Next is uh, Cult Blood Red Moon, Aileen's Dream by CAO, some of uh, Drew Estates Gatsby Luxury uh, Flake, two tins of Holger Danska. Uh, mango and vanilla. This is another delicious aromatic, um, you know, one that comes highly recommended for me. Uh, this stuff is great. Uh, next, we have some W. O. Larson's uh, 1864. Uh, this is, I believe, one of their anniversary blends. Uh, some Dan Tobacco Independence. And another aromatic, which I haven't tried, but comes highly recommended from uh, Mutton Chop Piper is Drew Estate uh, Central Park Stroll. And last up on the list, we have some Mac Barron's uh, Vanilla Flake. That's Flake Cut. I do love Flake Tobaccos, and I hear that's a good one. So there are my Aromatics and the Bag of Penzance, which I'm now going to have to jar up. Uh, so if you do win, you're going to receive that one ounce in a small mason jar. So let me go ahead and put these away now, and we'll get the non-aromatics. Uh, real quick, through the magic of editing, I'm going to come back at you and uh, put this in uh, right before the next portion when I do my non-aromatics. I forgot to pull these two out because I don't keep them in my regular uh, hutch. Uh, I do have a tin of Esoterica Pembroke as well as a tin of Esoterica Margate, and I have never tried either of these two. I'm holding off on those for a special occasion, maybe New Year's, anniversary, something like that. So let's get on to the next portion. All right, YouTube, so I am back with the final installment of my cellar. These are my non-aromatics, and uh, we'll go through these here real quick. I know this is gonna be a long video, so I'll try to get through them quickly. So we have, uh, here is, the 2016 McClellan Christmas Cheer, two tins, two tins of the 2017 McClellan's Christmas Cheer, uh, a eight ounce tin and a two ounce tin of GLP's uh, Gaslight. Here we have six tins of uh, McClell or McClellan's uh, Balkan Blue. Five tins of GLP's Quiet Nights, um, those two all two ounce. Um, here we have uh, the one, I think they're 50 gram tins of Frog Molten Cellar, uh, 100 gram tin, and a 50 gram tin of McClellan's Frog on a Log, the original. And then a 50 and 100 gram tin of Frog Morton's Across the Pond. 10 tins of Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding. 8 tins of G or, uh, Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River. We'll get to the Dunhills now. This is 2 tins of the Dunhill 3-year mat uh, matured Virginia. 5 tins of Elizabethan. 
five tens of ye old sign, five tens of early morning, five tens of Dunhill Mime Extra 965, five tens of Hearth and Home uh, Black House, two tens of the White Knight by Hearth and Home, two t or three tens of uh, HH Vintage uh, Syrian, one tin of El Nino, which I'm getting ready to open very soon. Uh, actually, probably this weekend because I've been craving it. This was gifted to me by uh, Mark Hoosier Piper, his 100 sub giveaway. We got three tins there of Orlick Golden Slice, uh, Cornell and Deal Bijou, one tin, uh, one can of Cornell and Deal Star of the East, two cans of Escudo, two tins of Brebbia Latakia Flake number nine. Four tins of Hearth or uh, HH Latakia Flake. And then we'll, uh, this is all I have for the Germains other than the, the Penzance. It's two tins of uh, Royal Jersey Cavendish Virginia. One tin of John Aylesbury Luxury Flake. Five tins of Samuel Gowith, full Virginia flake, my favorite Virginia. Got three cans of Sam Gowith uh, Cabbies mixture. One tin, and this is uh, I mentioned earlier uh, about the the Burley. Uh, this is really my only tin that I have of a Burley tobacco. That's Samuel Gowith's 1972 flake. Uh, one tin of a uh, Sam Gowith of Black 20. Uh, which I haven't tried yet. That's the rope, and I'm pretty interested in trying a rope for the third time. So I'm pretty interested about that one. And last but not least, uh, two tins of Samuel Gwith uh, Squadron Leader. I'll give you just one second here. So I'll turn you around. So thanks, everybody, for watching my seller video. I appreciate everybody entering uh, my 100-sub giveaway, and there's still time to get in. If you want, once again, the, the prizes are going to be uh, one ounce of Esoterica Penzance, um, a tin of 2016 McClellan Christmas Cheer, and uh, based on what category you enter yourself in, you either get a uh, 50 gram or a two ounce tin of a Virginia, a Aromatic, a English, or a Balkan. Uh, so as always, YouTube, keep on piping.